Hey guys, it is Headshot507 here again, and today I have a video game with me that I have played three times, and I finished four. Well, actually I played four, and I finished four and a half, but yeah, don't know how that makes sense, but whatever. It does say rated 18 and up, and I forgot what country. U.S. Kingdom or something. U.S.K. I don't know. That's like Germany or something. 18 and up? No way. Um, in America, it's more realistic. I think it's 16 and up. This should be like maybe 12 and up, 14 and up. But definitely for the swearing and bad words and like cussing, then definitely 16. Um, but littler kids, like, I would recommend 12 and up. But if you got this for 12 and up, um, I, I don't... Um, I mostly turn off the sound, and I don't really, and there's an option, like, in your settings, like, don't, like, like, no swearing, and, like, no cussing. I just turn that on. It's pretty okay. But it's malfunctioning, so I have to go and fix it. But anyways, it's a really, really nice game. As you can see, I really like it, because, um, I've played it four times through, and I just, I'm still, I still have a good time with it. Um, definitely, um, Modern Warfare should be careful about this, at least, um, multiplayer-wise. Campaign, it is pretty good. I really like it. I don't know why some people say it's stupid. I really, really like it. But anyways, yeah. Um, uh, Modern Warfare 2, it can't compare to this in campaign, but for multiplayer, it better watch out, because Battlefield is very, very good. It has a much more, um, bigger world, uh, maps. And I think more of a variety of weapons, definitely. And, yeah, the grenades, they don't, they do kill in one if you're really close. It's more realistic than Call of Duty. Because in Call of Duty, if you're, like, 20 meters away from a grenade and it explodes, you die no matter what. Which is sort of stupid. But, yeah, it's made by DICE and EA. I'm going to try to keep this in a four-minute period, so it's not a lot of upload time. So yeah, I got it for Xbox 360. As you know, I have an Elite, and it's really nice. The um the single player, I really like it, but I don't know why some people say it really sucks. You might want to go watch some other reviews. Um yes, I will be starting to do video game reviews sometimes. So if you like video game reviews, subscribe to me. And yeah, I really want subscribers. It makes me happy. But yeah, um it's a really nice game. I, that's really all I can say about it. My favorite weapon in the game that you should really try is the beginner. Well, it's the weapon you get in Upriver, the first weapon you get. It's the sniper rifle, but it's not the bolt action. I don't remember what name it is, but you have it in James Bond, too. And you, it's semi-auto, so you don't have to go like, doom, ch ch doom. You can go like, dun, 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 and like, And it has a 10-shot clip instead of a 5-shot clip, which is much, much better. But... Yeah, definitely not 18 and up, more like 12 and up, like Guitar Hero, but bad language. So, be advised. Um, yeah, I picked this up for around $60. I think $60. I don't know, whatever. But it's just a good game. I would really recommend it. I really like it, guys. So, yeah. Nonetheless, this has been Battlefield Bad Company Review. Hope you enjoyed. Go.